In this video, we would like to show you how to work with Estimote LTE Beacon. What you're going to need are an Estimote LTE Beacon dev kit and a laptop or PC with a web Bluetooth compatible browser. Note that unlike with our other beacons, this time you won't need a smartphone. First, open up your browser and log into your Estimote Cloud account. We're using Google Chrome, but any other web Bluetooth compatible browser will work. Make sure that you see all beacons and that the batteries are charged. Let's create a new IoT app. Go to IoT Apps and press Add New. In this example, we will use the Alert button template. This is the Estimote IDE. It's time to connect to the LTE beacon. To connect, press Connect to an LTE beacon. A new window will pop up prompting you to choose the beacon you want to connect to. To find your beacon on the list, press the beacon's main button. An exclamation mark will appear at the end of the beacon's ID. There it is. Pressing the button will also temporarily increase the power and broadcasting frequency of the beacon's signal. Press pair to confirm the connection. The beacon's details will appear in the beacon settings section. The three LEDs on the side of the device should also light up. An IoT app is programmable using a variation of JavaScript and consists of two parts. The micro app code, which runs on the beacon, and the cloud code that is executed on Estimote servers. The micro app sends information in the form of events to the Estimote cloud. These events are then handled by the cloud app code where they can be further processed or forwarded an external API or service. Now that we understand the structure of an IoT app, we can start coding. Let's have a look at the template first. Once we have a better idea of what the code does, we'll be able to modify it to add extra functionalities. The code registers the handler for pressing the beacon's main button. An alert will be sent to the cloud when the button is pressed. Now let's modify the code slightly. Here, we added a function that will turn the beacon's LED on for 3 seconds and registered an accelerometer handler to call this function. This new piece of code will cause the beacon's LEDs to turn on when we move the beacon. Now that the code is ready, we press the Compile and Send button to upload it to the beacon. A confirmation will appear in the live event log. The cloud code in this template sends a text message whenever an alert is sent from the LTE beacon. We'll need to paste our Twilio credentials here. Once the code is ready, we press the Deploy button to apply the changes. When we move the beacon, its main LED lights up and we see the debug message printed in the live event log. When we press the main button, an alert is sent. Two confirmations will pop up. One in the live event log and one in the cloud event log. We'll receive a text message via Twilio, just as we programmed it. Let's now disconnect the beacon from the IDE. The micro app still works, but we no longer see the messages in the live event log. If we now press the main button, the beacon will send the alert. After a short while, we see the alert in the cloud event log. And here's the text message too. So now you know the basics of using Estimote LTE Beacon. This is only a very small sample of our IoT Stacks capabilities. We encourage you to use our online resources to learn about all the things it can do, as well as experiment on your own.